It's trap, 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 and trashy news. Hell no! Trash, trash, trash. With, with, with pretty, pretty, pretty little kitty on your radio. Talk about having a really good support system. This meeting Future and his team who pulled him from a brutal Ibiza fight to avoid another ASAP Rocky situation. Future wanted to hurry up and whoop some ass real quick before a melee broke out that left his bodyguard knocked out flat on the face. Did you see that video? It's there at TMZ.com. A group around 10 guys started harassing Future and his crew at the Ibiza airport and sources connected to Future say it was a full-on racist attack which began racial uh, slurs. Flight, uh, the fight, A fight erupted and Future's bodyguard did some street justice. Six of the guys um, with six of the guys before he got cold cocked right in the chin. Pow! <laughs> Just flat. Boom. Flat on his face. Yeah. Ugh. I don't know if he still has a job, but he did take on six guys. Um, but Future clearly wanted in on the action because his anger was apparent hours later when he referred to the attackers as fake goons. Um it was interesting, according to the website, looks like Sweden is trying to send a message to black rappers that they come to the country um, at their peril. And the message seems to have been received loud and clear. And rappers visiting other European countries are adjusting their moves accordingly, clearing out the fear of the justice system is going to screw them as well. Um, eyewitnesses say that Sucker Punch video is edited to make it look like Future was watching nearby with no concern for his bodyguard, but that was not the case. Sources say the bodyguard is doing fine. R. Kelly, not so much, but we're not talking about him because we already know about his situation. Remember his publicist, the guy that had the um, press conference and then uh, one of the the girlfriend's family members was kind of like having a shouting match with him at the um, press conference? Well, he quit. Yeah. Yep, R. Kelly's crisis manager has reportedly stepped down. His name is Darrell Johnson. He was known for defending R. Kelly, despite the singer facing several counts, mostly 18, for child pornography, racketeering, uh, allegedly recruiting young girls at his concerts for sexual encounters. He made a statement. I stepped down as crisis manager for personal reasons. Mr. Kelly is in good hands with his attorney, as he as has been reported uh, which is the attorney statement. Daryl Johnson or Darrell Johnson has decided to take some time off for personal reasons from his efforts on behalf of Mr. Kelly. The defense wants to thank Mr. Johnson for his tireless assistance and looks forward to his return. He shares our confidence that this is an unprecedented assault against R. Kelly by others for their own, per- own personal gain and in- innocence of R. Kelly. Um, he gave this interview with Gail King uh, Mr. Johnson did, and there are rumors that Mr. Kelly saw the interview. Um, once Mr. Johnson answered the question, Gail King asked him, like, would you allow your daughter around R. Kelly? And he was like, absolutely not. Um, that being said, he may have woke up and said, oh, yeah, I guess this isn't a good thing. Or maybe he just decided this is just too much. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um, you would think that Nicole Murphy would have a conscience. I cannot judge her. I am not one to judge. But the pictures say one thing. Her lips say another. So, Nicole Murphy, you know who she is, right? She's the ex-wife of Eddie Murphy, model, just knockout gorgeous. Yeah, so she's alleged to be seeing... Um, it, it's alleged that she and director Antoine Fuqua are more than family friends. Well, this is what Nicole stated that they are, that there's nothing going on. They're just family friends. And, you know, sometimes family friends share intimate kisses on terraces and in bikinis and towels. That's all. Antoine Fuqua has a 20-year marriage to actress and wife Layla Rashawn. And uh, we're not sure if they broke up, if there was trouble in paradise. Clearly, there isn't with Nicole Murphy. So, yeah, that's happening. And Odell Beckham says he's not gay. He has friends that are gay. And he's also receiving backlash for dating white women. So which one is it? Is he gay or does he date white women? Which, what are we mad at here? It Does it really matter? Like, why do we care? I don't even want to read the story because it's stupid. It's All right. Trap, 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 trap. And, and trashy news. Hell no. Trash, trash.